Alrighty, Rue, what is going on, everybody? My name is Wolfswanger, and ladies and gents, welcome back to a brand new Lego Brick Adventures episode 4, the Lego Batman movie pack. I promised you guys that we would get the episode started right here on top with the Calculator Man, where we are going to be solving one of his puzzles. We'll get to that in just one moment, but first and foremost, what I want to do is thank you guys, because the support on the last episode was tremendous. We hit over 1,000 likes in less than 24 hours once again, which is why, of course, there's another episode today. Now, once again, if you guys enjoyed the episode and you want to see more of these continue daily please consider clicking the like button if we could reach 2,000 likes that'd be really 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 cool hopefully we can do it all right so with that in mind let's go calculator man you have some mathematical questions for us three times two nine no I'm joking of course it's six I saw no sign of cheating on your part and yet you achieved what should be impossible for one so what near. what what do you mean Take your prize and go. by the way if you flip his helmet it actually says hello do you see that like the fours, H-E-L-L-O. Got it? That's pretty cool. Cool little hint there. Everyone did those like little calculator tricks. Those and other ones as well, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure everyone knows exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so let's fly on down. Whoa, quite the landing there with Excalibur Batman. And there's a gold brick right in front of us. Oh, it's right here, it seems like. Hello, sir. Who's Rory? Oh, no. Okay, we need to help him for sure. So, if we transform our ghost... But whoops, nope, not Abby. I forgot. We need to first transform her to... I think... Oh, I'm not sure, actually. I'm pretty sure that it's uh, her that has that ability. Yeah, with the shotgun. Cool. All right, welcome to the comic book store, sir. Let's see what they have in the comic book store. They have a whole bunch of masks, which is a little weird. I mean, I've been to countless comic book stores. Not countless, probably ten... But they've never had just, like, masks out on display. At least I don't recall that happening. Maybe, like, a party store. What? Did he just buy 52 new issues? Or was that just an Easter egg for the new 52? Which DC has been doing relaunches of new 52. How many years now in a row? Guys, do you see that? Oh, it's the... Oh, it's the Invisible Jet. I was freaking out. I thought I imagined something. I was like, what's going on with me? I'm seeing something and it's not there. But this was the Invisible Jet. Remember, we actually helped out Wonder Woman with this mission? But yeah, it just freaked me out because I was looking across. I'm like, I don't see it at all, which now makes sense. It's the Invisible Jet after all. All right. Hello, Mayor. What do we need to restore? The Aparo Park. Okay. This is actually, I think, our last restoration mission, no? It would be really, really nice if today we can actually uh, get maybe five more gold bricks to bring our grand total to... Wait, we got already two, right? Wow, that was fast. I just realized we did really well already. We got like two gold bricks in less than five minutes. That was crazy. So if we can get to like 15 gold bricks today, that'd be really sweet. All right, so let me see. Hello. How can I help you, Poppy? The penguins' penguins broke in and messed everything up. The penguins, penguins? It would have been funny if she said, the penguins, penguins broke in into the penguinarium. Triple P. Okay. Uh, well, I guess we gotta help her and head inside the botanical gardens. Right? She did say into the gardens, right? She didn't say into the aquarium, like I imagined. What the heck is going on? There are penguins with chainsaws. This is terrifying. And they have red eyes. Um, okay, guys. Play this cool. Just play it cool. Hey, where's Excalibur Batman? We need a sword. We need a sword to deal with these chainsaws. Let's go. Here we go. Yeah. All right. We're going to make some penguin jam. Let's go. Come here. Yikes. Good work. Man, these penguins are relentless. They just don't know when to quit, do they? All right, good work there. Uh, well, I can't help you in that regard. We need to, I guess, use this puzzle piece. All right, so Robin, uh, let's shrink you down first. Shrink you down and step you up here. And then you're going to grow. Now I'm going to transform to Excalibur Batman. Shrink him down. And then place him underneath this one. Brilliant. Now we've got ourselves uh, our... Yeah, let's... Hmm. No, it's okay. I think we could stick with Stripe. I was going to say, we've got ourselves a little gremlins being represented here. We might as well have him solve this puzzle. All right. So I think I just need to go up, right? 
And then we'll be able to hopefully gather up all those ants. Look at that ginormous ant. Whoa. That thing is massive. Can we get out? I wonder. Yes, we can. Very nicely done. And now we have a little bit of an assembly. I bet you it's some sort of like sugar water assembly or something like that. So that the ants get gathered up. Never mind. It's just a plain old vacuum cleaner. It just gathers up the ants right back into their spot or into their cages, I guess. Look at them hanging out over there. All right. You're welcome, sir. So we have rescued that fella. Uh, we can shut this down. And now, let's see. For this, I'm going to need the help of Robin to fix this train. I don't know if we need to fix it, but we're going to fix it up and see what it does. Why is there a train in botanical gardens? That's so strange, right? It's a, that's the weirdest thing ever. Why would there be a train just hanging out there? Especially because right now an exhibit is the Ant World exhibit, so sort of weird that that's what we see. All right, let's see. We made it to the second layer. I'm not really sure if we're supposed to make it up here, but we now have uh, Batgirl. Could you use your Batarang on that? And what exactly does that do? All right, we keep sending the surcharge and the different uh, powers over to other areas. Oh, look at that. We put the little plant to sleep. We played it some lullabies, right? All right, so that plant is no longer freaking out either, which is wonderful. So that's another task cleared out. Now, can I slice through this with any of these characters? I think that Excalibur Batman might be able to do so because, I mean, after all, he's got a ginormous sword. Really, dude? This sword does not have the ability to slice through this? That seems very strange. Can Stripe slice through this? Yes, he can. Wow, so his little claws can cut through these giant vines while Excalibur Batman's ginormous Excalibur sword cannot do the job? I mean, come on, dude. He's got to sharpen that thing up ASAP. So, let's see. There is something fishy in this situation. Get it? Get it? Because there's a fishing rod? Okay, I'm going to stop now. We need the help of Emmett uh, for this particular task. So, let me grab his minifigure. Uh, there he is. Hey there, Emmett. Can I please have your help here? The specialist is here. Well, a.k.a. the special. Just make sure we don't get hit by any craggle. Am I right? Oh, uh, so what exactly did that do? Oh, okay. Well, it can drop into the water. Well, let me see. We'll send Robin in there. Oh, okay. We need to fish the actual... Or, sorry, fix the actual... We need to fish. Good pun. We need to fish the actual uh, filter, it seems like. In the uh, aquarium. And now that we have done that, they're getting some fresh air. And look at that. That's good. That's right. Problem solved. Like always, by yours truly. We done diddly did it. All right. I'm going to unspawn the stripe character and spawn in one Aquaman because I have something that I think we need to handle up here and take care of. Can travel to the DC Comics universe. That's cool. All right. So let's spawn him in. There are a couple of things in the uh, botanical gardens that I do want to explore still like the actual plants right here all right so we have found one plant and that seems to send i don't even know what what happened huh interesting was that treasure that looked pretty intriguing <laughs> aquaman is singing everything is awesome <laughs> everything is awesome when you live in the sea i guess i guess that makes sense hey why not right you probably don't have nearly as many problems to worry about just chill out, chillax, and obviously probably worry about all the humans and the overfishing and so on and so forth. But no, no concerns whatsoever. All right, we need to find one more plant. And there it is, square in the center. And once we have done that, I guess we're going to get a gold brick maybe? Ooh, okay. Ah, now I got to go back up top to get inside the aquarium. So I will do that in just one moment. But before we leave to go do that, I do want to ask the Batwing for a little bit of help with whatever this is. Because I am intrigued by what's behind this door. Come on, Aquaman. Oh, nice. That is always handy. All right. Let's get that collected. Okay, careful. Drop down. 
And then, whew. And let's time this perfectly. That was not perfect. That was the opposite of perfect. That was not, that was imperfect. All right, Aquaman, let's cheer up with a gold brick. So run over to the aquarium, take a dive. Aquaman is just gonna hang out over here. He's just gonna be like, oh, I don't wanna leave. This place is wonderful. I never want to leave. Whoa, I just realized there's a giant shark painted on that wall. That's pretty crazy. All right, so let's head out of here and see what awaits for us next on the streets of Gotham City. Now, as we do that, guys, don't forget, let me know down in the comment section below, who is your favorite member of the Justice League? I was just thinking of Aquaman. I was like, he might be up there for me as far as one of my personal favorite characters. So uh, let me know who's one of your personal favorites. <laughs> Look at his face. Look, when we run towards him, he's like, please don't. Don't run at me. Do not do that. You're making me really nervous. <laughs> it's just such a funny expression. All right, so before we carry on with our next mission, I just remember that I promised you guys that we would go on ahead and find out what the bat tank looks like. So in order to grab that, we are going to go on ahead and need a few more upgrades. <laughs> That's terrifying. Imagine if you're driving, right? Like you're just like on the street, right? Or even if you're in the passenger seat or in the back or whatever, and you just hear somebody honk at you like this. It sounds like there's a horror movie <laughs> driving behind you. Like that's terrifying. All right, so we're gonna need to snag up a few more upgrades here. Oh wait, what am I talking about? We just need to spend seven gold bricks. There we go. And now we can go on ahead and take a look at what the bat tank looks like. Now, as we unlock the bat tank, I also would love to see what the final skin is for the vehicle, which is right down here. Ooh, it's the Joker skin. That is sweet. So I guess it's actually the Joker tank, not the bat tank that we just built. And let's take a look at this thing in the actual world, because I bet you it looks terrific. I mean, honestly, all three forms of this vehicle have been exceptional. I've been a big, big fan. Batwing, really cool. Same thing goes for the, uh, was it Black Lightning, I think they called it, right? I keep forgetting the name of it. <laughs> We're gonna take a look at it in a moment. And then, uh, let's see what the Bat Tank looks like. I hope it's pretty fast, actually. Whoa, okay, it's really fast. What is this? We got our barrier right here, so we could go on ahead and defend ourselves from all kinds of damage. Oh, there's Flash, by the way. We could help him out as well in a moment. But dude, this thing is terrific. Look at it. It's so sweet. That is a really cool vehicle. And it's got the two guns on the front. So it's got the ability to fire away at different targets as you're driving along. Or you could just bump into the invisible jet like that. So that's a thing. I just tested out our honk. Yep, it definitely honks like crazy. Uh, can we flip this thing? Sorry, pardon me. Coming through. I'm going to go help out the Flash. I wonder what he's got for us. Hopefully it's a cool mission. Hey there, Flash. Well, he seems to be very impatient to have us help him. Dude, has the Flash set up a stand? Look at that. He's got like a little business going on. What's up, dude? All right. Heatstroke, is that a villain? Scarlet Shocker. Scarlet Shocker. Hmm. That literally sounds like a supervillain. I'm the Scarlet Shocker. I will shock you with scarlet colors. Or something. Um, well, I guess we want to do that. Why not? We get to hang out with the, the Flash. You know that uh, Robin would never pass up that opportunity. Dude, you're so fast. Can I just sit on the actual ice cream truck? And then I don't have to run chasing you down because you're so quick. Dude, look at him. It's ridiculous. He just teleports away. All right. So he's giving out some ice cream. There's nobody challenging you for that ice cream, so I'm not sure what you're talking about, dude. Keep giving out the goods. All right. She seems to be happy. What? How? What do you want me to do? Oh, fight these guys. Okay, sorry. I did not even see the bad guys. I'm not going to lie. But our team will take care of them. We got a crazy team assembled here. Is that it? Oh, no. We got some more Joker goons. And then Two-Face thugs as well. Hit him with a combo. Nice. Love that drop kick. All right, Flash. We took care of all that. What's next? On to the next location we go. I got you. I'm chasing you down, dude. 
Wait, how far did he go? He just like super sped up out of here, man. If he wants our help, he's got to wait for up for us, man. I won't be able to catch up to him that way. Oh, okay. He's up at the party here. Look at him hanging out. What's up, Flash? How's it going, dude? Hello? Hello? Dude, I'm I'm trying to catch up to you. Dude. Hello? Flash? Are you just... Flash, are you just joking with me right now? Flash, did we just cancel the mission? Flash, please stop doing this. You're really, really starting to frustrate me. Flash, I'm getting upset at you. That I caught up to you already, like, multiple times. Okay, I'm going to cut him off. Watch. Whoops. I'm going to cut him off. Ha-ha! Got it. Whoops. Okay, Flash, I don't know what you want. I'm out of here, Flash. I'm out of here. You keep running in circles if you want to do that. But you're going to do it by yourself. <sighs> I feel very offended. How rude, dude. I'm, like, helping him out. He's just like, ah, I'm out. Come on, man. Not cool, dude. Not cool at all. Now, what is cool is that I think there's a gold brick somewhere right here. I just don't know where. Um, is it, like, up on top of the building or something? Ooh. Hello. Is this the Mad Hatter's shop? I think it might be. <laughs> That's terrifying. She's like, <laughs> I wish I could have more heads so I could wear more hats. That's a terrifying business proposition. Mad Hatter's entire idea of madness is just to make everyone want to wear hats in an obscene quantity. That's it. He just wants to sell a bunch of head, uh, hats. That's his entire business uh, proposition. So I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do here. If I'm supposed to destroy all this or not but either way we've destroyed the entire store so there you go guys you don't you can't buy hats leave leave please leave this store has been destroyed there's nothing left there's nothing but this left and it just keeps rotating round and round and round so i can't destroy it but there we go you guys gotta leave you have to leave wait i just realized how many gold bricks are we at okay it'd be nice if we got at least two more gold bricks so Gotta get busy here. Gotta get busy and gotta get some gold bricks. Um, okay, so there's a gold brick up above. We need the bat tank for that. Well, actually, not the bat tank. We're gonna need the bat tank and transform it into the bat wing. So that we could fly up higher. Uh, okie doke. So there is something at this level. Aha! Actually, I think I've already located what it is. I just need to figure out where this goes. Uh, there's got to be an entry point. Where can this be delivered? Hello. Looking around. Oh, I found it. There we go. All right, we found a deposit. We found a deposit box. And let's see what happens once we've done that. Ooh, okay. So there's a puzzle area that can now be operated by one bat girl. So what we'll need to do for that to happen is I'm going to need to switch to Batgirl and have her pilot the Batwing because otherwise we won't be able to get up there. All right, careful. I mean, maybe there is a way up, but it would just take a very, very long time. Whereas this way, we can just kind of hop up. Oh, okay, fail, 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 fail. <laughs> the Batwing just crashed onto the floor. All right, that was an epic fail. It went from being a little bit of a fail to a ginormous fail right away. All right, let's see. We're going to just fly up easily, easily. I said easily, easily. Okay, okay. You know what? This time? Wait, rotate. How do I turn this thing around without making it such a sharp turn? Okay, there we go. That's where I wanted to land. Now, if I could just jump across. Yes. And now we can operate this machine. Okay, so we got to just match up all the pieces. So the double goes over here. Then the triple goes right there. And then this triple goes right there. You just have to want, find one of the paths that matches and then use that to help yourself out. All right, so let's see what we have. Whoa, is that safe? Well, I don't know, but we got a gold brick, so yay! Or about to get a gold brick, so that's great. Let's jump down. Okay, careful. Whew, nice. There we are. Wonderful. Cool. 
All right, so we gathered ourselves another gold brick, which is super duper terrific. And with that in mind, ladies and gents, we're going to wrap up our episode here today. We did manage to get five gold bricks plus a restoration mission. So that's really, really, really quite cool. Thank you guys so very much for watching today's LBA. If you guys want to see more of these, click the like button. Also, let me know down in the comment section below who's your favorite member of the Justice League. I'll see you all later, alligators. Bye-bye, everyone. Thanks for watching.